Hey, how's it going? So, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, my name is Victor Walker. Um, I'm a former uh, prisoner, uh, ex-offender. Um, you know, you could pretty much call it uh, whatever you'd like. Uh, but the bottom line, I was a person who was incarcerated for a crime that was, you know, committed back in uh, 2000. And I spent a significant amount of time in prison, approximately uh, 18 and a half years. Uh, of course, I'm much more than just a prison number. I'm much more than just a person who went to jail. Uh, prior to me going to prison, I was a person who was very uh, prolific in writing, um, I love poetry, I love performing, I wrote music, I was an entrepreneur, a very avid uh, student, I loved school, I had a great family, I had a great upbringing, I uh, lived two, two, two parent household, um, you know I was an all around decent kid, you know growing up and you know all the way up into my adulthood I just, you know made some mistakes and found myself in the situation that um, I would just say a lot of people uh, would definitely not, not want to find themselves in. Uh, instead of me elaborating uh, so much so in relation to uh, my previous crimes and you know uh, past history that, well, like I said, doesn't define me. Uh, I just kind of want to you know, express a few things that uh, kind of brought me to the point where I'm at right now. One of the things that I would like to talk about today is something that opened my eyes during my incarceration. And that was a program that was implemented and instituted and I was allowed to attend after I had you know, passed um, a certain amount of criteria, for lack of a better term. And it's called the Inside Out uh, Prison Exchange Program. Program. And it was instituted and or established uh, by the University of Michigan Dearborn and it's a partnership between the Michigan Department of Corrections and the University of Michigan. Um, the reason why I wanted to talk about this program uh, and its significance is because it had such a significant impact on my life and the way that I see things and the way that I do things and it took a very, very, um, it, it pl I'm just going to say this, it played a very, very huge uh, part in my character and how it has developed and who I've become to be. Um, when I first got introduced to the program, I was actually in prison. I had been incarcerated for approximately 10 years or so. And, uh, you know, we would hear about uh, the program and the theory groups that had, you know, previously been uh, implemented within the MDOC, but I had never been exposed to one. And so when the time came, when the opportunity presented itself, um, I was allowed to fill out the application, you know, see if I met certain criteria. And at that point, you know, I would be allowed to participate in the program. And, you know, by all means, and I was able to um, pass that criteria and I was ultimately allowed into the program. Now, initially, well, let me give you a little bit, a little bit of understanding about what the program is about. So basically, the program um, it, it consisted of 15 uh, outside students, which were students who attended uh, the University of Michigan, uh, as well as 15 inside students, which were uh, participants who were uh, incarcerated uh, males, ex uh, offenders and who were interested in participating in the program. The uh, basis of the program was uh, information about sociology. It was, it was actually associated with a lot more than sociology, but just dealing with the various different aspects of our society, how things are. We were dealing with you know, uh, societal structures, um, social economic uh, dispositions of certain individuals. It was a lot dealing with just all around sociology. And I have to admit, I really didn't know what the entire context or the entire subject of sociology, I didn't really know what it actually entailed until I, you know, was became involved with this program. And so actually when I was first introduced to the program, I just knew that we would be able to uh, see other people from the outside world. And that was one of the things that interested me most. Um, outside of some of the um, 
subjects and topics that were um, illustrated within the context of the syllabus. And so uh, once I got to the point where I felt that I wouldn't have a problem with being around people who were uh, from the public who wouldn't you know, judge us or judge me, I'll speak from my own perspective, but who wouldn't judge me uh, you know, as a prisoner. I was like, you know what, this might be a, a really good experience. And I have to admit, it was a lot more, uh, it was a lot more fun, it was a lot more insightful, it was a lot more interesting than I originally anticipated. Um, I can recall the first time I walked into the class and the 15 other students came in, I believe it was like 12 women and there were like three men. And you know, I can recall the looks on everyone's face. It was as if, I don't want to say they had seen a ghost. It was just more so like they were, I think they were kind of nervous. And I think, you know, some of the students on the inside uh, as, as prisoners, I think, you know, we had a sense of nervousness as well. Not like someone was going to do something uh, to us or anything, but it was more so just like, wow, we're about to interact with some individuals who are not only from the free world, but who are actually studying uh, information relative to potentially how we ended up, you know, in the system, uh, or the prison system itself. And so it, it was a lot that was going on. Uh, but I can recall when uh, I first met, you know, Professor Drouse and Professor Paul Drouse, and he was, you know, he, he was a, he was a real kind of laid back kind of soft-spoken type dude but you could tell that he was very intellectual and he was very analytical about things you could tell that he chose his words uh, precisely he didn't just rattle off things but I also could tell that he had some type of training in psychology because the questions that he asked I think sometimes he already knew the answers to those questions before um, he could even finish asking them but the truth of the matter is he was a real cool dude and the way that he introduced the class and the way that he conducted the class and some of the information that was uh, involved in the class. Like I said, it gave me a lot of insight about things. Um, I remember, you know, him asking everyone to stand up and introduce themselves and, you know, give a little bit about ourselves and things of that nature. And I was a little bit nervous, like, wow, I know I have, they, you know, everyone already knows that I, I'm a prisoner and I had been, you know, uh, I'm in prison and this is basically what it is. Um, but I remember thinking like, man, they're going to judge me when they hear just the, 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 the name of my crime, right? Because I was incarcerated for kidnapping. And I think naturally when individuals hear the word kidnapping, it automatically you think of a kid or you think of a, a, maybe a woman being kidnapped and, and harmed in such a way. And even though I wouldn't, you know, uh, attempt to even justify my crime or even try to, you know, put it in a good light. It was what it was, but it wasn't what, you know, some people would normally think off the top. You know, I was involved in a, in a, in a, in a very fast life. You know, I sold drugs. Um, you know, I was in the streets. I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of. And as a result, uh, situations took place. I was shot. I was assaulted. And ultimately, I retaliated. So that's how it ended up. You know turning into what it did but anyway I knew that I had to express this to the class well I didn't have to but I chose to because you know I, I wasn't ashamed or, or um, I, I knew that what I had done was what it was and you know whether you're gonna judge me for who I am or judge me for who I, I'm not I just rather be respected for who I am and so I, I had no problem with expressing that but anyway I can recall after I stood up and I expressed myself in such a way I think that I think that the class or the outside students took it a lot um, I think they took it a lot less harsh than I thought they would you know they didn't look at me like oh he's such a you know a heinous person they actually just you know accepted what I said regardless of what they may have been thinking at that time but I knew that I had expressed myself in such a way that um, they could kind of understand my position if not you know completely identify with it you know what I mean so anyway after that you know we got a chance to do a few um, I don't really want to call them games they were more so 
social interactions that allowed us to get to know each other a little bit better. For instance, um, I can remember Professor Drouse bringing in a bunch of magazines and he brought, brought in a bunch of construction paper and scissors and glue and we were actually uh, encouraged to go through the magazines, cut certain things out, certain pictures, certain words that would describe who we were, describe things that we liked, things that we were associated with, things that we were affiliated with, things that we uh, uh, felt close to or negative things, you know, just to paint a picture with the words and pictures that were in the magazine. And so after we did that, I think that that was one of the most impactful uh, introductions that I have ever uh, experienced with not only uh, people in general, but more so just strangers. And uh, I think that brought us together really, really closely in a short period of time. And it made me feel good to know that there were other people who um, were on the outside and may have been uh, judgmental to a certain degree or maybe even ignorant to some of the ways of the world as it pertained to how individuals came to be in prison and how we came together collectively but still had so many things in common you know um and, and you know it, it made me feel good so that was kind of like my initial experience um throughout the program though uh of course like i said we talked about various different things from social structures and how the system worked we talked about uh, privilege, uh, power, and, and differences between different individuals. We talked about uh, hierarchies of social structure. We talked about the system, uh, the prison system. We talked about the economic system. We talked about uh, ghettos. We talked about, you know, rich people. We talked about black people. We talked about white people. We talked about uh, Native Americans. We talked about everything that you could think of that was associated with uh, a social structure, how people interact. We talked about history, how things came to be. We talked about certain cultures and how certain people see things. We talked about stigma. We talked about stereotypes. We talked about uh, prejudice. We talked about so many different things that most individuals shy away from um, that it something that once was probably uncomfortable for most people became like fluid and it was as if we were just talking and communicating like we had been knowing each other for, for, for years. It was like we were old friends in a large classroom who had got together to just talk about some things that we all uh, were familiar with. And uh, it, it was a really, really great experience. Um, and we did this every day. We took, we read books um, that discussed these particular topics. We uh, we studied amongst ourselves. We went back and analyzed each other. We talked amongst each other. We we sang, you know. We 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 we, we recited poetry, you know. We read. We 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 had heart to heart conversations. We had a lot of interaction that was necessary to build the type of uh, environment, for lack of a better term, that was necessary to facilitate the overall cause and it, and it was really 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 uh, great experience um, some of the things that I I did I didn't expect though I didn't expect for the individuals in the class to become as close to us as they did because you know naturally we know as prisoners and under those circumstances and how the rules and policies are set up within a prison. Anytime a volunteer comes in, they're basically encouraged or discouraged from creating relationships with the prisoners. Uh, they're basically discouraged from um, opening up or talking about and, you know, revealing certain things about themselves because in certain cases it could be detrimental and, you know, with all due respect, I, I, I do understand where the administrators come from when they uh, administer those type of rules. But at the same time, when you're real and you, you're talking to someone's soul and you're just, you know, expressing yourself to somebody, it's very difficult to put up barriers or um, include restrictions on love and just, just realness. It's, it's very hard to do. So one of the things that I didn't expect... Um, was for those individuals to become so close to us in, in, in such a short period of time. I mean, we opened up, we talked about a lot of things that we probably wouldn't have talked about in under any other circumstances. Even though it was all uh, class related, a lot of things were revealed that kind of 
you know, made the experience that much more uh, easier to deal with. And it, I think it, I think it broadened a lot of horizons and I think that it, it opened a lot of minds and it opened a lot of hearts. It, it, it really did. Um, some of the things that I did expect, I did expect for people to come into the classroom and like I said, be judgmental. I expected for people to come into the class and, you know, uh, be scared or, or, or think the, the worst about the individual that, that they were going to meet. And I'm speaking from, you know, the outside students coming in, seeing the inside students with our, you know, blue and orange uniforms and automatically thinking the worst, like these guys are killers and, 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 and rapists and, and kidnappers and robbers and, and all of these things. And then I guess in some sense of the word, based off of certain people's actions, it was somewhat true. But at the same time, what I think we got an opportunity to express and demonstrate to the uh, the outside uh, individuals and the outside class was that those things didn't define us. You know, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone, you know, at some point or time steps outside of their character and may do something that is not necessarily them. Um, but I think we did a very good job of demonstrating, you know, that our crimes didn't, didn't define us. Um, and, and, you know, that was something that I really, really enjoyed and, and, I, and, I, and I liked a lot because it, it, it helped me to get past some of my own prejudices and some of my own stereotypes. For instance, when I saw certain individuals walk into the class, I had this notion in my mind already that, this person's judging me. They're not going to really talk to me the way that they would normally talk to me in the street. And I felt a little bit, you know, uneasy and uncomfortable because prior to me coming to prison or prior to me going to prison, you know, I was a very sharp dresser. I was a person who really, really took pride in my appearance. And, you know, everywhere I went, it was kind of like I was a showstopper and, and, and to a certain degree, uh, the life I was living. And under the circumstances, I was in a blue uniform. I mean, of course, I was still trimmed up and I was, you know, very presentable. But at the same time, I didn't feel at my best, for lack of a better term. But, you know, those types of things, you know, they're, they're expected. But um, once again, like I said, when it was all said and done, everything was good. Everything was cool. And we got a chance to really um, get to know each other and share some uh some life experiences with one another that that ultimately you know led to some really really solid i don't really want to say relationships i'm just going to say connections i'm just going to say that um the class has impacted me in in many different ways uh for instance and and i'll use this as an example because i won't i won't you know carry this this um um these words on any longer than I have to uh, but one of the main things that impacted me uh, the most was one of our final tests in the class and the test was for um, each individual to uh, be grouped into groups with um, certain pre-selected uh, members of the class, inside members and outside members. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we drew names from a hat and that's how we actually uh, uh, chose the groups. But the groups that we were in, I think that they were destined to be those groups. I think the individuals who were uh, in each individual group complement each other in, in many different ways and it just worked. And the, 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 the test was to come up with a mock program that would be beneficial to not only prisoners but could also benefit individuals who were in society who may have potentially been victims of certain crimes um there were also uh aspects that we could include such as re-entry programs and you know, maybe healthcare programs, anything that our minds could muster and, 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 and create that would bring about a mock program that would be one of the best things that has happened to individuals who may have been to prison and 
how they can uh, effectively create a transition so that when they come home, they would not only benefit themselves, but individuals who were also in society. And so each individual group came up with some amazing, amazing programs. And at the very end, I was, I was just blown away. I mean, I was, I think that I, you know, my group, you know, I think that we had the, 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 the top a uh, program of course but at the same time there were some individuals who had some really really great ideas and it just showed me that when you group certain individuals together regardless of what their background is regardless of what their perspective is regardless of who they are in character and personality everyone has something to offer and so that showed me a certain uh, aspect of interdependence that I don't think you would have like I said, normally seen under any other circumstances. And so the, re the way that it impacted me is because after the, the uh, program was over and, and everyone graduated, it was a really, 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 um, it was a really, really great uh, ceremony. Everyone got a chance to say their goodbyes. Everyone got a chance to stand up, you know, at a podium and express, you know, what they felt about certain individuals in the class and what they got from it, it was really, really nice. Um, and afterwards, everyone parted ways, and that was basically it. And, you know, we probably kept those memories to cherish for a lifetime. But I didn't just take that class as a program to uh, bypass some time while I was incarcerated. What I actually did was I took various different lessons that I learned from that class. I took various different themes and perspectives that I had gotten from that class and I decided to create a program of my own and it's actually something that I'm planning to implement. I had spoke with um, a few administrators while I was still incarcerated and they actually liked the idea itself and so I'm currently in the process of preparing a program. I'll say it, the name of it is called Craftco International um, and basically it's a program that I designed to implement uh, within the MDOC um, to assist and help individuals who are currently incarcerated that have these magnificent skills and talents and how they utilize those talents to manifest physical things whether it be merchandise, whether it be pictures, whether it be um, various different uh, hobbies or, or, or fruits of their hobbies and uh, the program that I'm putting together will allow those individuals to take those uh, fruits or merchandise that they produce with their talents and uh, have them um, sold or displayed on an open market out here in the free world and that they will receive compensation for it. And what that would allow them to do is basically generate funds while they are incarcerated so that they can take care of some of their responsibilities and obligations such as living you know behind bars you know everyone has is still a price of living behind bars uh, most people think that you just have three hots in a cot you know you got food clothes shelter you got your basic needs and, and you you good but the truth of the matter is when you're incarcerated you know you get the bare minimum of what is allowed by the state and everything else you have to provide for either on your own through a job which is very 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 uh, low in wage or you depend upon your uh, family members, relatives and other individuals who may uh, deem it appropriate to uh, assist you in such a way. Um, and so my program, it not only helps those individuals, you know, uh, maintain their, 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 their uh, livelihoods while they're in there, but it also gives them the ability to, um, for instance, pay off restitution that they may owe to the state once they've undergone their court procedures and have been uh, officially sentenced. It allows them to help pay for attorney fees, uh, medical co-pays. It may uh, assist them in various different ways of you know, helping their children, um, paying their child support, uh, maybe even sending home you know, money to their family. It's, it, it, it is so, it's a, it's a really, really spectacular program. I look forward to implementing it and I won't talk a lot about it because I'm one of those type of people who like to uh, demonstrate with action. But I'm mentioning it because this was a program that I actually uh, conceived based off of some of the principles and lessons and things that I um, um, acquired while I was in the uh, Inside Out Prison Exchange program. And so 
with that being said, I think it's a very, very unique program. I think it's very, very uh, insightful. I think it could be used in many different ways to help individuals in their own capacities, as well as helping other individuals who may not be in a position to help themselves. Um, it, you know, really the possibilities are endless, but I would say this, if you are a person who is incarcerated, if you are a person who is in school, if you are a person who just has the opportunity to participate in such a program, I would recommend it 100% because I guarantee you it would open your eye. Even if you think you're the most conscious person, socially conscious person uh, on this planet, I can assure you that if you were to involve yourself in this class or just uh, just get a, a basic, uh, just get a little bit of insight from it. If you were to just sit in one of the classes, if you were to just listen to an audio of an exchange that's going on within those classes, I guarantee you it would change your life in many different ways. Um, so, you know, like I said, with that being said, I don't want to take up, you know, much of your time. I just wanted to talk about this program because it was something that was dear to me. It's something that has had a significant impact in my life. It's something that has created a desire in myself to not only be great myself but to also assist others in achieving their greatness and if there was anything else that i would say about this program is that if they could have it at every single facility uh within michigan and i would say the united states abroad or a similar program i think that it is very, 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 very well worth the effort and the investment to have at least a, a conversation about it. I think so. And, uh, you know, with that being said, I, I appreciate you all listening to me, taking your time to uh, identify or at least kind of relate to what I'm saying for the moment. And, uh, Hopefully you all will get a chance to experience what I'm talking about. And if not, at least talk to somebody who has. Talk to y'all later. Peace.